What's going on, Bears fans? We've got a quick emergency update. The Chicago Bears have signed a defensive lineman, not an edge like many of you guys are hoping for, but they've signed a defensive lineman, Brevian Roy. We're going to talk about all that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central. This is a quick emergency update uh, episode. You guys know we're the number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related, and because of that, that means we're trying to bring you guys the news as it breaks. So Chicago Bears has added defensive tackle Bravion Roy. Uh, this is a defensive tackle who played for the Carolina Panthers for his career so far. He's played 45 games, had 15 starts in those 45 games. He has career numbers of 76 total tackles, 30 solo tackles, 46 of those being assisted, and one sack over his career. Again, this is not probably an earth-shattering deal or anything. This is another body to add to training camp. We already know. We've heard very good things about Javon Dexter and Zach Pickens so far and them just really excelling. I don't really expect that the Bears are doing anything to kind of shake up the lineups there, but this is more depth at a needed position for the Chicago Bears to add, you know, some more of that competition in training camp. He may end up being a practice squad body, but it does say something that the Bears went ahead and claimed him, um, and so that says that they at least have some type of plan for him. The Bears are still being active right now, even with training camp, and we had the first uh, practice today with pads on, and we'll see what this in, when that ends up meaning. I don't expect this to end up being a one of the a deals that, that p- pays off big for the Chicago Bears or anything. It's probably just an added body to just, you know, in training camp, you want to take a look at things. They may need some extra people down there, may end up being a practice squad person. Uh, but ultimately, again, the Chicago Bears are still being active. Like I said, not as active as some Bears in the area that a lot of Bears fans are hoping and wishing. I know a lot of Bears fans are hoping that this update would be the Bears assigning an edge. You never know. Could be coming down the stretch of things, especially as the team is really getting an extended look at these players now with pads on, and they'll be able to make that determination sooner rather than later. If they're gonna, if they feel the need to add a veteran big time edge at that position, but ultimately right now the Bears are adding a defensive lineman, not the lineman that many Bears fans would have wanted in Bravey and Roy. Again, this is a solid player, right? Again, as somebody who comes in as a depth piece, one could say though that between uh, Justin Jones, Billings, Zach Pickens, Javon Dexter, we have plenty of depth at that at that position. But this is a guy who, in his senior year, he had 61 tackles, 13 for a loss. Five and a half sacks, one forced fumble, and seven QB hurries in his in the senior year of his college season before being drafted in the sixth round in the 2020 draft. This is still a young guy as well, 26 years old. So the Bears could see an opportunity maybe to get a little bit of upside out of him. Um, like I said, a, a little bit of depth there. Move maybe coming. Who knows? But yeah, ultimately, this guy, he spent a time. He was added to the injury reserve list in September of 2022. Uh, Because of a hamstring injury Um, in week two, he ended up getting activated, still playing a handful of games for the Carolina Panthers last season. So, you know, we'll end up seeing, man. He was waived uh, just uh, just yesterday by the Carolina Panthers, so the Bears did not waste any time to claim him off waivers, which, again, like I said, points to they may see some upside in this guy. But let me know what you guys think of Bravion Roy down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in to this quick update episode on Chicago Bears Central. Make sure you're following the show at uh, Shy Bear Central on every social media platform. You can also send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, chicagobearcentral.gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail, the number to do so, 773-242-9336. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related because you guys, like I liked in every episode on Shy Town Up, but Bear Down, love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Break Media.